obviously now it's bad, but they said there's always something going on, right? Uh, there's always oh Turks. There's always tournaments that you cannot justify taking longer prolonged breaks. Yeah, I've been feeling it for a while that I just want a little bit of a a breather kind of thing. It might sound weird for a lot of people because my job is playing video games, but it's training, guys. There's a lot of work behind the scenes as well, a lot of training for tournaments. On top of that, there's participation in tournaments, preparation for the tournaments. There's a lot of stuff that goes on. Running YouTube, live stream. There's always sponsors and like sponsors, uh, team obligations regarding game legion. There's a lot of stuff. It's still a job, yes. There's a lot of stuff you're doing that are not visible to the public eye. So if you think like time spent, probably spend as much time, if not more, behind the scenes. No, that's probably not fair. You probably spend roughly the same on stream as you do off stream, working for the same thing kind of thing. If that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I have a full-time editor, like, right? I, I hired a guy to edit and run my YouTube channel. And even after that, I still feel like I still need more time. Or I wish I had more time in my hands and energy for everything. The biggest thing right now as well is that I'm obviously contractually obliged to stream X amount of hours. And that's also taken a bit of a hit on my ability to take time off streaming to train for tournaments. That's a bit of a tricky one. Like, I would like to just take a week off and train for a tournament, maybe. But it's hard to justify when you have contractual obligations to to fulfill. So yeah, so it's, it's just a hard thing with being like a hybrid content creator and esports competitor. It's been quite obvious since the replay the streams. Yeah, the Christmas stream, that would, that's a boss bit of a confusing period anyway, regarding like what was actually counted or not. It's a story for another day. It's obviously not how I want to do things or what, what I wanted to do, but... Shrug. You are a content creator at the core. Yeah, I mean, like, at my current stage of life in general, like this, or stage of live streaming slash age vampires, I will have to prioritize the content creation. But I also like the, the, still the thing I love to do the most is still competing. But yeah, it, it's striking the balance is the is the tricky thing. I still love competing the most of everything in Age of Empires. Do I go for these boars? I think I do. A couple extra boars is always nice. It does have a sneaker. Oh, what? Went in again. What? I didn't take a damage? Definitely looked like I should have taken damage. Oh, I don't have loom! Shit! Oh, shit! True, I went without loom. Whoops. What? He killed me through the corner! Oh, I don't want those boars anymore. No pawn again. I had a pawn last game. I mean we can't be we can't be too greedy here. 
Usta. Madenci. Evet. Evet. Usta. Yeah, not an optimal start. What happened? Even wolves cheating nowadays. I know, right? It's crazy. Uh, yeah, this is a bit yikes. Don't have the food I want on my TC. You feel reduced performance after risk problems? I, uh, yeah, I mean, goes without saying. But I'm very happy that I found a way where I can remain competitive and do this still. Because I thought at the point I would have to quit, right? So it's quite, quite. For me, it's still just, uh, I'm happy that I'm still able to do it. Who knows what would happen if I didn't have those issues. Maybe I would be playing at a higher level. Maybe not. Who knows? What's the point of speculating? Is there where Spanish would make donkeys? Very rarely will there be a situation where donkeys will outperform monks. I would just... I would just say straight up no to your answer, but or to your question, but I also cannot predict any scenario. There what might be a scenario where mobility will be more crucial to you, and suddenly it makes sense. I also don't want the wrist to become an excuse thing, right? If I'm sitting here, oh yeah, without the wrist, I would be like... Without the wrist issues, I would be amazing, man. I would be like winning every tournament easy peasy, right? That's just stupid. And I have some viewers that like to make a lot of excuses on my behalf. They would grasp onto that. I was acting stupid like that. And so that every time I lost a game, that would be the excuse, right? And I don't want anything like that. The biggest issue I've had with the wrist situation is that the lack of I wasn't I wasn't able properly to grind hour hour in hour out as I could before but I still think I've found a, a place now where I can still f perform without too much of a negative impact on my actual game playing obviously I'm wearing a brace with like a metal plate underneath so my accuracy is a little bit a little bit inaccurate sometimes. I misclick a bit more than I used to, but it allows me to play without discomfort. So every day of the week, I'm gonna choose choose the wrist brace. Everyone has troubles to overcome. Yep, just get herbal medicine. Yes. When did the wrist start? Start. Got here late. Uh, NAC three. I remember having having the wrist brace. I think it started late 2019. I don't remember though, to be completely honest, when it started exactly. Are you on shooting games? Not very good at the moment, I would say. Sneaky Archer, Dominance, Total Brutal, Ripperino. Do I do a... Wait, why, do I not, why am I not doing Castle Drop? Oh, I wish I did a castle drop follow-up. That would have been sweet. It's fine. I'll just play the Turks in Paralyze. That's fun too. Exactly, Jaren. Improves the range, but not the accuracy. When I have to wear a wrist brace, I'd rather use the mouse with my other hand. There you go. I've gotten used to it though over time, so I think it's not that much of a problem for me anymore. Double TC on the wood. Let's go. See what that feels like. I think that's gonna be awkward for Grey to deal with. Wait, we're actually still wide open. They don't have a monastery? No. Do I build one to heal up my light calf? I think I will actually. I didn't realize, but this is actually wide open. 
Turks and Fast Imp, name a better duo. Byzantines and Fast Imp. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Not really too many other duos to mention there. We went to 100 houses and bomber cannons. I was thinking bomber cannons gen history. I think that's the most fun to composition to play with. With Turks. Like, I feel like Janissary is such an underused unit in general. I think they're super good in Imp as well. I, I, I have a lot of fun playing them. So I'm gonna go for that this time now as well. Denanian farms, fair enough. Viper organ guns, yes, yes. Viper and doubt, oh. That one is a bit of a stretch. Me and Doubt had a fun goodbye at the NAC. We, we barely saw each other over the NAC duration. He was obviously at the meet and greet for the most part and watch party. I was in the, the bed most of the time. So and we, he came just as we were about to leave and we said goodbye. And we were like, oh, this was a perfect uh, way for us to spend NAC. Like, let's, let's keep it this for the future. <laughs> but we like barely see each other. I just want to make sure he sees that. Doubt and castles. Now that's a good sh shout for a duo. Yeah, we'll go for TC here. What? He walled me off. Wait, why is he going back? Oh, there. No frame delay in Imp is so nice to micro. Exactly. Love it. Now he's fish booming. What a madman. I need to get wheelbarrow. I don't think I have it. Just realized I have like 50 bills built into wheelbarrow. That's an almost castle. Now there, that's a good one. That's a one that makes sense. Let me go straight into Hankart as a follow-up. Wait, what's happening? Why is he not picking up the relic? I don't get it. Have I not told him to pick up the relic like two times over there? Am I misclicking here somehow? Was well, a good time for Wilbur one once. Very much depending on the situation in the game, your sieve, what you're going for, etc. But if you if you think you need to cast edge faster, I would recommend delaying it. But otherwise, I would say maybe around 35 to 40 villagers. Uh, in particular, once you have some sort of farming economy set up, because the biggest impact Wheelbarrow has is on farming. So you want to make sure um, you have a little bit of farm set up before you kick off the Wheelbarrow upgrade. Castle drop. Danger. Yes. I'm very low. Ooh, there's a monk there. Ah, I can't get. If he's gonna target fire my light cat. Heck. Can I get him? Nah. 
Quick. Forty farmers, uh, please don't open the gate. <laughs> don't open, please. <laughs> <laughs> that would be yikes. It looked like he wasn't paying it, like he looked like he would have opened it potentially. Wait, oh, I don't have a second building. Sumeru is living dangerously. How's the gallbladder now? Hope all is good again. I feel okay right now. I, I have an appointment 5th of April where I'll get like a confirmation of what the situation is like. I told him to wall earlier, man. Okay, I bought some time. There we go. Yeah, I've been feeling better every day since I got it, pretty much, so I think it should be all gone, hopefully, soon enough. Let me see the civs, we have Italians, Turks, Vietnamese, and Mongolis. Hindustan is Sicilians, Saracens, Celts. I guess I could go cab archers, but I think Janissaries and Bomber Towers are more cool. Took time to see how to do Yeah. Miracle got third, fourth spot. Yeah, quite happy with that in the end. Can't complain. Do you have the redemption? Yeah. Ah. Well. That could have opened better. Not gonna lie. We'll still be okay. That could have been better. Doubt castle. Kind of. Patty man with his Saracens. Are they cutting? Need to check. Okay, respawn so far I think has been pretty good. Let me get this upgrade. Okay, we got the onager, so we cannot go any further. I think we're in a good spot here. Oh. 
I think that's overall good for us. Use. I'm gonna have to send more bills. Wallet. Why is it still open? It's too slow there. Houses. I have the numbers here now that where they cannot really engage anymore with just Hussar. Bombard Towers? It is a good shout, I'll do it. I kind of need my stone for production as well. Yay, he converted Longer. Nice. Should start trade though. A lot of seed rams. Give me your extra resource. Build a fortification at the I'm not sure if I should commit on this right now because uh, it's gonna have bar uh, rams. Oh, I failed. Most rams are gone. And they lost a lot of their stuff. So that's not too bad. What is happening here? Oh, I still have one more alive there. There's a trap from behind. Cheeky guy. I think we might be able to save this though. Hey, 
lived. Save it. It lives. It lives. Give me your extra resource. Stone, please. Stone, no can do. Go Genoese, which is fair enough. Shoot it. Why does it not shoot? What did he garrison all this? I guess it kind of makes sense. I don't know exactly why they're garrisoned though, but okay. I will have to add stables here. Camels would be an option as well, but I'd rather just go for the... I'll start with extra armor. It looks, looks like they're doing good on this side, so I will lose my whole presence here. Uh, we can afford one more castle. I'll do one more castle in the spot here. Gold players. I need to switch my eco a bit to more food. They probably should go while they still have the momentum. If I can get like a few bomber cannons here. Just to kind of hold. And then start spamming. Give me your extra Don't have. The main issue I see with us losing that position is that now we don't have access to his golden stone anymore. That was one of the biggest advantages of actually having that position, I would say. Oh, so many siege running from Celts. Uh, what's going on here? They have onages, they can cut whenever they want as well. How do we ever kill that? Looks like it's a stalemate on the other side. So what's carrying us right now is my KD score. It's not a good sign. Yeah, 
What's my trade doing? 18 trade cards. That's been better before. Now we have some meat shield at least that can help take care of siege and such. What is this regrouping? Like, what in the heaven's name is this? I've been telling them to go here, and they're all. What is that regrouping logic? Like, what? When you click your units to go a place and then they go not even close to where you tell them to another issue we're facing is that the uh, Celts player is going to be able to get onto Halberdier Andre as well for example and that is no bueno for us actually gone condos now that I think about it earlier. Oh, this would have been a decent unit, I think. What is this regrouping? Why does it go back? It's hard to get quite triggered by that. Careful! quite scary still at least we got I would say healthy amount of trade somewhat up and running by the looks of it Thirty trade units now. That's definitely an improvement. Now he has helps as well. This is going to become a little bit more difficult. Those units are so tanky. The Rams. Era quit as well because he couldn't bear the pathing. Uh, the pathing path is really rough, honestly. Pathing itself, yeah. But main thing I have an issue with right now is the regrouping logic. The way units regroup is just—it just feels so wrong and doesn't make any sense. Okay, it looks like they're actually making progress the other way there. I think I have to start getting rid of some bills. 80 farmers. Am I still mining gold somewhere? No.
feel like I have to delete wills, but I also feel like I can't really justify deleting wills. We're mostly dying to the rams at the moment. So we have double range comp. I think we need Samaritan go Cavalier. I don't think it makes sense for him to go be like playing Genoese only. I, mean, I guess I can go Cavalier. At least the Kels doesn't have Esso still. Small comfort. I think even condos would be decent here. Need houses. Yeah, we're simply dying to ramps at the moment. Oh, true, I have a lot of those here. I get rid of the Hussar Q a little bit. My last castle, goodbye. It was nice knowing you. I should have gone Cavalier earlier, probably. Starting to float a little bit of gold, which is good. Are they Teutons? This is fine. Bomber cannons. Cavalier seems pretty good. It's mostly how we get to kill, uh, I would say, his, the rams way faster than before. That's SO now, though. Get it! Oh, elephants here from Mrs. Zen, that's nice. Boom! They're being pushed back on the other side though. No bueno. Someone needs to cut from your side. Actually, I agree. 
I don't have onagers, unfortunately. Oh, split. But we may be open. I don't have wood. If this works, I don't think it's going to work, but it's worth a try. Uh, Serve maintenance is later, so it hasn't it hasn't started yet. But stone price isn't too bad either. It did react immediately though. I can maybe buy a castle soon. What is that? Sicilians, okay, okay. They're not trading here actually. Where are they even trading? At least Tata's attention is being pulled a little bit. Can maybe snipe some stuff. Are we losing our trade spot? Did I see that correctly? Okay, that's where our trade is. to not go on camels. Ooh. He needs to keep chasing that. It's gonna be a lot of dead trade arenas. Condos fish from Italians now would seem cool. I uh, don't really think they would do much. If anything... Yeah, I don't think they would do much. I think that's gonna be all she wrote. You will clean this up. I still have fortified trade cards. I did, didn't lose too much trade myself there. some time though to wait for the trade to kick in again Let me add camel as well. We can resume production. What an ass.
I'm losing trade cards, he's not lying. <laughs> I think we're sort of stabilizing on our side though. I actually think we are getting in a position where we could make things happen. Potentially. Why is he on the workshop? Population is still healthy, but feels like our trade is a bit exposed right now. Open. Oh, you locked the gate. Okay. That's obviously an amazing fight for Sumeru because we have Genoese. It's only an issue when the, the Rams are tanking. I lost another 9 trade cards. More than 9 actually. That's rough. Yikes. Okay, they all, somehow all the bomber can survive, like two SO shots. Winning it, Ariel. wonder if switching sides would do much here. Careful. So if I send like a couple of hills to build like some, well, 14 range bomber cannons there, could be pretty sweet. Seeing this, if I had stone, I could have built bomb cannons and such. But I ain't got stone. I think I have to run there because I'm not sure if anyone else saw it. Server maintenance doesn't release the new DLC. It's not impossible because they need like a big maintenance, right? If they are preparing to do like Return of Rome, get get AOE two playable or AOE one playable and AOE two, it's not unlikely, right? I don't know exactly how that works, but my theory is that's gonna what it's gonna be like. So maybe that's what they need the server maintenance for. for? Who knows? But yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and see. I do have a healthy amount of gold again. Man, the amount of time we're spending destroying one ram is insane. I need to build like a up a crazy amount of What? I'm being completely blocked. Snipe that and then we're fine. Good. Yeah, they're not getting through. This might be our moment to try and push back because his army is occupied. But yeah, they're in our trade. So I think we're dead anyway. They're buying stone too, so their trade is also super healthy. It was a fun one though. Mm. I think if I think probably I should have maybe met, went melee units myself a little bit earlier. 
We ended up in double range composition against Kelt Seed Rams. That was never gonna be a, probably never gonna be a success. So maybe I go Cavalier earlier instead of Hussar as well. I could even go Camel, honestly. Or he could have just gone Condos, for example, with Italians or he could have also gone Cavalier himself. I think then again maybe his range units are better. If I go Cavalier, bombed cannons, he goes Genoese. I could have gone Condos. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to say. Yeah, not having Onager is a bit painful as well. Like even if Blue did Onager here, he only has eight range. He doesn't have Siege Engineers, so it's still far worse than what Onagers they have. Mm, I think we Tato did a good job holding with just Hussar though, what we pushed initially. We have monks and Janissaries, so the Hustar alone was enough to buy time there. Nice game though. It's the same with the beast trade. Actually, their trade wasn't that impressive, not looking at it. I thought they would be way far ahead of us. Nice. 